everyone, it's Nioxi. Welcome back to another part of Detroit Become Human. Uh, the last time we left off, we mostly just met all of the characters. So I'm super excited to get back into this. Let's get started. Yeah, I'm guessing it's a painter that we're... <gasps> White, what are you doing with a bird? Wait, they're fake birds? That's weird. <laughs> Android pets. I'm guessing um, Marcus is working for a painter because we went and picked up paints in a city. Must be a really famous painter because that house is. Okay. Take care of Carl. Wait, Carl upstairs. What's there, though? My guy lives in a fucking mansion. Paints a lot of portraits. Hmm. The little origami figures. They're the same ones in Heavy Rain. <laughs> we see that in advance, you can already like predict the entire game. Wait, he just has like a Taxidermy giraffe in his living room. Okay, before we sit down and do activities, we should probably wake... Carl. He's gonna hear us. Playing the piano is gonna be like, the fuck are you doing? Is he not selling his paintings? This has like skeletons and shit. Okay. Oh, he's got like full arms of tattoos. Good morning, Carl. He's a cool grandpa. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent humidity, with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Are uh, you jealous or is medicine? Oh, I guess that's it. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No, Carl. <laughs> He's all sassy with him. Thank you. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. He's what? right. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Oh, I got There's some demonstrators. I got assaulted. Room. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids. I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. He's nice. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. Seem to have a better relationship than uh, Todd and Kara. Hmm. 
Oh, I have to keep... So he can't walk. Oh, and we got him dressed and showered and everything? It wasn't very long. Look at his outfit, little scarf and everything. Take Carl Anything to special on the dining table. Today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Oh, he's got one of those machines? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? Damn, that's going fast! No, Carl. Usually these things are super slow. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. Who's Leo? Was that the dining room? Or the that was the living room? I'm starving. Oh, the Boy, table's there. Is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Serve breakfast. Nice kitchen and everything. What's over here? Nothing. Okay. All served on a silver platter. With figs! Fancy as breakfast. Voila. Thank you, Marcus. Bon appétit. Television. With the little fancy, like, lifting to serve his tea. At least he's being treated with respect here. Finish my breakfast? Mm, sure. Mm. Okay, Carl. Do androids feel fun? Like, do they feel bored? And Because, like, in this city, you would find, like... Okay, I could play chess. In a city, you'd see like parkings basically for Android and they just stand around and not really do anything. Like, is that something they have to do or are they actually bored? I could play piano. It's the other. Or read a book. Wait, should I read a book? Play chess, play piano. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. 5,000 years of civilization just to get to where we are. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing it won't really impact the story, but... Let's go with... Intimate? I don't know what's the speed I'm supposed to be playing it at.
feel so disconnected because I'm not playing it at the right speed, I think. Watching y'all this time. Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect so he yourself. He cares for me and I care you for make him. Your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. He's such a nice man. Feels like a... mutually beneficial relationship and not just... someone using their android. It's like he... Marcus cares for him and... Carl gives him life lessons in exchange. Do you need this? Machine? Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, he's Let's working on a really big off. piece. Remove the sheet. Oh. Clean studio. Are you even gonna wash those brushes? Wait, do I have anything else to... Oh, yep. Okay. What's your verdict, Marcus? Oh, um, I guess I like yes, it. Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. <laughs> Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting. For me to something. paint something? Paint? But would I painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> He's all excited about it.
find a subject. Can't I just create something? I guess not. Let's go with that, I guess. That is a perfect copy of reality. He's like bored with Painting it. Painting is not about replicating the world, it's about interpreting Yeah, it that's what I said. Different. Can we create something? Showing something you see. I don't like realism. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go. Then Try get out of your program, things. dude. So they can't create stuff? Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. What if you're ordered to create Close something? Me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist. Something you've never seen. Hmm. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel. And let your hand drift across the canvas. Oh, he's loading. His brain is working. Let's go with identity, maybe. Despair or doubt? To make something really dark, despair. Let's see what that does. I feel like doubts would make sense because he's like. Carl encourages him to question his identity as a an android. But I want to see what despair leads to. It's actually a really good painting. Oh my god. are you hey dad oh is that leo leo yeah i didn't hear you come in no, i was in the neighborhood i thought i'd stop by it's been a while right you all right you don't look so good oh yeah yeah i'm fine <laughs> yeah he's kind of acting a bit uh, erratic cash, dad. oh do you now again what happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? Oh. No, no, no I swear, it's not that. No, oh, don't he's on drugs. Me. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer's no. Good for him. What? Why? You know why. Because he doesn't want you to spend it all yeah. on drugs. Yeah, I think drugs. I do know why. <laughs> You'd rather... You'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing. I mean, is I not take care son. of him, and you don't. It's a fucking machine, Leo. That's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. That might be true, because we don't know me. much about Carl's past, but... Still not a reason to be acting like that. Is he on the same drug as Todd? Okay. Oh, 
All right. Oh, or Connor again. We haven't seen him in a while. I feel like we've only... Yeah, we've only played him at the very beginning. No androids allowed? Owners will be prosecuted, so that's like a law? Are androids not allowed in bars? Oh, I'm searching for someone. Scan faces. Oh, there was someone there. Wait, who's that? Edward Dempsey. Okay, it's not him. Shit, I thought I had George Ward allowed in here. You have a problem with that? What's your problem? You buy me a drink? Is it you? Kim Yoan. Domestic abuse. Oh. Dennis Ward. Miss Roberts. Hey, get out of here. Ban androids. Androids killed our country. We want jobs on androids. Seems like everyone hates androids. It's like, damn, I look good. Okay, that's the women's restroom, so let's not go in there. Thirty-one percent unemployment rate. When will it stop? That's really bad, though. It's a really bad unemployment rate. Again, it's a society problem. It's not individual. Android's fault. How do I? Okay, that's him. He doesn't look like the picture. The fuck you looking at? Did you had a rough time. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. The <laughs> fifth? What do you want? Spend his evening going through bars. You were bars. case early <clears throat> this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Well, you're not working right it's now. A plastic asshole like you. Everyone is so rude. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, let's be nice. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Uh. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Thinks he's so funny. Where? <laughs> he's just like, no. are you serious, bitch? <gasps> what? I want to. I want him to like me. I'll buy you one for the road. I want to be liked by everyone. Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym? Oh. Here's the technology. Make it a double. Okay, so that made him like me more. Gonna be drunk as fuck when trying to investigate the case, though. Say homicide. So eyes. <laughs> Listening to really heavy shit. You wait here. I have to investigate. 
My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Oh. He's like, which one is the more important? All right, so we decided to. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I can't because I literally I'm just got here. Anything. Okay, where did he go? Oh, there he is. Can I go there? Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. It's. I'm sure I have actual pronouns. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even at Hank, we were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around 8 from the landlord. The lieutenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, okay. so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. A few months? He waited for a while. The lieutenant died. I don't think my landlord would wait a few months before checking on me if I didn't pay my rent. Pretty sure he would call right away. Is there something outside? Theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Okay, it doesn't seem to be anything outside, so let's go in, I guess. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the car Ew. gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Yeah, fair. Make yourself at home. I it must smell like if you need me. fucking hell in here. Okay, that's fucking gross. Okay, he's a very unclean person, first of all. Can I investigate a body? Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. I am alive. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. So you think an android wrote this? Cyber Life Sense, is it the only font that androids can write in? Yeah. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, it's fucking gross. I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. Hey. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth, you got <laughs> it? Got it. <sighs> fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. Okay. Dried blood. Carlos Ortiz, 19 days ago. About three weeks. That's Carlos Ortiz. Oh, he's full of stab wounds. 28? That's more than someone needs to die, so. Red eyes, okay. Yeah. Carlos Ortiz. Is there something else? Okay. I feel like that's more stab wounds and someone needs to die, so maybe like he kept stabbing after. Okay. Okay, so he was running away from Yeah. Could guess that he was stab. Okay, they were in the kitchen. Okay, was he stabbed first in the kitchen or kept being stabbed? Yeah, and then he kept going. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in yeah. for him. 
Ray one out of ten. Ray There's a lot of evidence to find. Oh! Like the party. What's that? The knife? Oh, because androids don't have fingerprints? Okay. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Oh, three is Consider there. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Red eyes. Okay. Seems like everyone's on that shit. What's that? Okay, more blood. Hey Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. Blood here, I guess, because that's where you... Wait, how do I... Yep, yeah, some more blood. What's that? Can I... Wait, how do I check that one? Can I not? Ah, oh, wait. Okay, let's not go outside right now. Oh, wait, examine. The chair. Okay. Signs of a struggle. Okay, there was more blood. That's what I was trying to... Android sex, officially better. Sorry ladies, but plastic can be beat. It's funny they should say that, cause like... If Android Sex Club existed... Like, 68% of men prefer sex with an android to a real woman, like... If they did the opposite survey, I'm sure the majority of women would also prefer sex with an android. Androids don't want to talk about their feelings afterward. How dare women want to? Yeah, that could be a concern. How dare women want to talk about feelings? Okay, he took the knife there. Yay, what's that? Oh, I can't really see outside. Okay. Oh! There are prints. Carlos prints. Okay, so use that. Did he start the assault or did he defend himself? Ethereum. Okay. Oh. Maybe he started the assault. It seems like that's what happened. The other one didn't have a knife yet. Hmm. I guess he was getting his ass beat with the knife to defend himself, I guess. Okay, but I'm missing one piece of evidence. Do I have to report right away? Can I not find the last... ...piece of evidence? Is there something in the bathroom? Obsessive writing. RA9. Oh my god, it's kind of manic. Oh, I didn't see that. Hmm, yeah, it does seem like a shrine to something. Okay, I've got all the evidence. Did I need it to go outside? Is there something to check out there? Okay, I don't think so, but... The door was locked from the 
inside. The killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. Yeah. No. This type of soil oh. would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Okay, so he escaped from the front door? Guy's been dead for so long and they didn't find it until then. Okay, what's my next objective? Report to Lieutenant Anderson. What's that? Yeah, what's that? Eden Club. Come visit us. Does Connor care about that stuff? What's in there? Okay, nothing interesting, I guess. Okay, seems to be the only thing left is to... There was something else, though. Is it just him? Okay. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh yeah. Shoot, I'm all ears. He doesn't Don't seem start. really interested. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is. What exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the baseball bat. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. And the android defended himself? Uh. Wait, wait, wait. The android stabbed the victim. Yeah, I don't think he threw the chair. I think there was like fingerprints on the chair. Okay, then what happened? So I guess he grabbed the chair. The living room? The living room. Yeah. He fell on the chair, yeah. And then he went and died over there. And he tried to get away from the android. Alright, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim. With the knife. With the knife. Yeah, we know that he's got fucking 28 stab wounds. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat. So we could and lost some theory. Yeah, we could follow the blood. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But you can but see I it. I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Oh. He likes it. Okay. Wait, there's other things to do. Are they... Okay, wait. Yeah, they go over here. Oh, there was a ladder. Did he hide in there? Is he still here? Ooh. Maybe you could ask someone to help you so you don't go in there alone? Can I... What? Can I use this furniture? Move it around? Okay... Find something to climb. 
table. Oh, I guess a chair would do. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Follow me, please. I need help. Check something. I don't want to do that alone. Wait, that seems unsafe. He's there, right? I don't like this. I'm stressed. I can't go anywhere else. They want me to jump or something. Yeah, I see him. That's not him! It's a mannequin! Okay. Where is he? Or... Her? It's gonna jump at me, I know that. It's really dark in here. Oh! Oh! I was just defending myself. I mean, you went a little You're bit gonna kill me. over defending, but yeah. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, they didn't let me choose. Oh, shit. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now! Come on! They didn't let me choose if I wanted to report him or not. Okay. So, what's the other pass? So I did miss some things. Connor knows what happened. I guess there's... Connor doesn't know what happened and then you fail. I don't know what some of these are. It's pretty interesting. Okay. Oh, now we're with... Yeah, Kara again. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. What did I make? Spaghetti. Decent choice. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Does she have to go grocery shopping or does he take care of that? Turn on the lights. Yeah, it's pretty dark. Well, they're served already. Oh. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. How do I? Wait. What a joke. Oh, there we go. I couldn't serve him. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired. They're never sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. Oh. What are you looking at? 
What's your fucking problem? It's poor child. Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Tom. Yes, you should. Sometimes you really scare me. Yes. God. Fucking bitch took off without a word. She left her child fucking there. Walk walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Get back here. Come back here. Kara, right you gonna interfere? Oh. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. I'm not gonna do that, bitch. Are we breaking out of our program? Disrespecting our orders. Disobeying is the word I was trying to find. Let's go. We have to get out of here! Protect Alice. Yes. Reason with Todd. No! There's no reasoning with him! Man, he killed us last time. He's gonna do it again. Where's Alice? Hey, where's a room again? Alice? Let's go. He's coming! He's gonna hurt me! Run! Oh. Get away! Or he's gonna break you like last time! Uh Can we lock? Alice. Quick, quick, quick! Alice. Oh my god, did Ooh! Okay. Let's run. Okay, we got from the window that we opened last time. Did you find something? The window! Yes, 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 yes. Quick. No, Carl! We'll fall! No, we have to go out. Hurry, come on. Can you jump in the bushes? Oh my god. That was not a lot of time to make a choice. Quick. Oh my god. Oh! 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 I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're okay. Let's leave. Let's take the bus. The bus driver let us go in. Is there even a driver actually? Okay, that went pretty well, all things considered. I mean, not for Alice, but... Maybe Todd will see that as a lesson. Probably not, but... That was a very short chapter. Car and Alice evaded Todd. Oh my god, I avoided a lot of... Oh my god, there is a lot of ways this can end. Wait. Todd gets mad. Break programming. Wait, can we not break the programming? Does that lead to like a game over? What happens if not? Because Alice would just get hurt. Carl becomes deviant. Way out seen in a new home. Right, because we opened the window. Okay. That's interesting. Good evening, Carl. Welcome to the 
That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers <laughs> that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. Pretty much. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. <laughs> I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Oh, is there someone the there? Police. I could just do that? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Uh, okay. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. It's a bad idea! Oh! Okay, I think that's his... son. That would make sense. So let's bring him, maybe he can reason with him. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them! Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. I don't think you're getting think any of, of this shit. On my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here! All right, Leo, you gotta get out of here. Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? You're not very not pleasant. Connected. Not perfect, like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes it so special oh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't? Leave him alone. Oh no, 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 no! You don't do that shit. Marcus. Oh no. Don't defend yourself. You hear me? Don't do anything. But go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think he's like, man? Mm. act like one. It is Stop not fair. Doesn't matter too much of a pussy. Stop it, Leo. Stop it. He's having like a heart attack. Again, bitch. Oh my god. Yes, you must decide. Oh my god. Yeah, Carl tells me to choose for myself what I want to be and make my own decisions I'm not gonna oh, let right. people That's push right. me around God, you're not a real person you're just a fucking piece of plastic oh, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you I'm gonna just be me and my dad bitch get out Ooh! oh my god I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to push him away. Leo. Oh my god. This is bad. Leo. My little boy. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. Yeah, if the police gotta go. gets here. Get out of here! What? What's conjure? Go. I have nowhere to go, Carl. Oh no! I shouldn't have said that. It's not what I wanted to say. Get out! Now! Oh my God! Go. <gasps> this is so bad. Oh. Marcus, don't fucking move! Okay, so I died and Leo died. Wait. Oh my god, I didn't get the chance to check them out. It said Leo is hurt. So he's not dead is what I'm getting. 
Right? I kill him. What He's just hurt. That knife? Oh, okay, we're back with the investigation. How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! Yeah, maybe I can try. If I'm an android, he might see me as a... Fuck it. I'm out of here. Friend or... Neutral. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. No! After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Oh. Well, Deviants that's a good point, but also... also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what is that funny bitch? Yeah. What do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Okay. Extract confession. We pretty much already know we did it though. Okay. Processing lead. Signs of software instability. Probability of self destruction low. So he's doing all right. Housekeeper. Oh, he's the same model as Car, I think. He doesn't have a name. Okay. Uh, no name. Burn marks. Repeated marking over 16 months. So he was getting mistreated. It marks. Okay, so that's the baseball bat that broke his arm. Right blood. Alright, so he was getting uh, abused. Optimal stress for confession? Okay. It's gonna be a. Oh, I'm missing an option! I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear. In humans. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did it's he beat you? It's more stress now. Listen. I know you've been. Oh, I guess it's not gonna stress him out, it's gonna reduce his stress. You need to help me understand what happened. I would not be good at this. Yeah, I <laughs> know. I just want to be nice and comforting. Uh, if you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! Ooh. No, please don't do that. Okay, that raised quite a lot. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy you, my guy, probably. Guessing they don't have much destroy me, aren't they? problem doing that to androids. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. Okay, that raised a no little. They have choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Because the game didn't let me choose. <laughs> Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like oh, you. Oh, I'm a... Uh... I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I can't. Oh. Choose approach. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and 
frustration. No one can blame. Oh fuck! I have to keep. Okay then. Let's be mean. Talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder. Okay, right? that was better. If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? It's very dead. aggressive. I'm still okay though. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day, he just got too much. Bad and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Did something change in scared your might programming? Me, scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And again. Until Felt good to get back at him. He kept going though, right? There was blood everywhere. Oh, oh not. Yeah, what's RA9? RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. Convince yourself? To tell him he was wrong. Oh. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. RA9? What's that? RA9. Who is RA9? Is it even a person? Or is it like a program that's written when somewhere in their feeling emotion? brain? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. It's true that it's not fair. Instead of running away, I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. He was lost. I was scared. So I hid. I'm done. It's like I'm done here, my work is finished. Can I give him a hug or something? <laughs> He's been through a lot. And he's gonna get destroyed, I'm pretty sure. I give you a hug, my man. No. Okay. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't oh. touch me. Oh, he's gonna self-destruct. What the fuck are you doing? Move it! You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. Bitch, he's gonna destroy himself. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. 
I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, oh! fucker. Oh, he's gonna shoot me. Oh That's my god. Enough. Mind your own business, Hank. Oh, Hank likes me I more, said, though. That's enough. Oh my god. <laughs> Gonna get away with it this time. Get away with what? Successfully investigating a crime scene and getting a confession? Everything is alright. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please don't touch it. Be gentle with him. Out of the room and it won't cause any trouble. Oh. Yeah, I think RE9 is like something that's programmed in their brain. The fact that they're able to feel like fate is kind of interesting. Android was sent back to its cell. Android trusts Connor. And this game will have a lot of. Oh my god, you could skip this whole thing. Suspect found in partner. So if you don't find it, you skip this whole... This whole segment. This game has a lot of replay value with all these options. Sorry. And I just no wanted way. to go as yeah, far to as possible. Wake up. We have to go. Thank you for not reporting us. Stay here. Wait, I wanted to ask him something. I can't? Okay. I missed my chance, I guess. Oh, she is freezing. Gonna be okay? We need to get her somewhere I'll dry. Find somewhere to spend the night. Uh, first of all, I need to change my clothes because I can't be looking like that. Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. All right, I'm actually gonna end this episode here, guys. Um, I'm really enjoying the game. I'm really curious to know what happened to Marcus because I have to imagine that he's not permanently dead because we just started the game. Um, but I'm really enjoying, like, each of the little different, like, situations that all of the characters are in. Um, excited to play some more, but thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check links in the description, and I will see you next time.